After a week of news conferences and TV studios, pediatric HIV specialist Dr. Hannah Gay is thrilled to be back, walking the halls of Batson Children's Hospital at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson. I'm pretty tired at this point, but oh, uh-huh. things will surely slow down soon and I'll be able to get back to my patients. Dr. Gay was surprised by the worldwide attention she received after discovering a functional cure for an HIV-infected baby. We knew that it would be interesting to our colleagues um, and there were, that there would be scientists from around the world who would be interested in following up to see how this plays out in the future. Um, I guess I just didn't anticipate the uh, lay press interest. So you have a theory as to why the British covered you so much? Uh, yeah, I really think that the British just are interested in hearing my southern accent. On her first day back at work, Dr. Gay heard a lot of southern accents herself as friends, colleagues, and even her daughter gathered to welcome her home. She is cool as a cucumber. I mean, she's definitely glad to be home. The pastimes that I've talked to her, she's taken everything quite well. Of course, she would be the first to tell you she hates being in the spotlight, does not like all the attention, but of course she's glad to do it because it's such an incredible achievement. This wasn't a research case you were working on. It was definitely not research. I was trying to prevent HIV. Um, when I started the baby on the medicines. As it turns out, in this particular case, the baby was already infected before her birth. Um, so we, we moved from prevention mode into treatment mode as soon as we found out in the first week of life. And um, so the treatment we expected to be lifelong, but it was the mom who chose to stop the medicines later and the fact that the HIV did not come back came as a total surprise. It was almost a perfect storm of circumstances. That... Exactly. This baby was born with HIV, was given that aggressive treatment, then sent home with her mother. And then for 10 months, I understand, it did not receive treatment. Is that correct? She remained on therapy for probably 15 to 18 months. Mm -hmm. And um, then she did not receive therapy for a period of five months when I saw her back. Um, after that five months, I fully expected to see virus in her blood again, right. but it was not there. When people are, li are listening to this story, they're saying, is, does this mean we found a cure for HIV? Well, we don't know yet exactly what we found. Yeah. Um, and it will take a long time of studying and <clears throat> seeing if we can replicate this outcome in, in other babies before we can say, yes, we've got a definite cure. At this point in time, we certainly cannot promise to cure a baby who's born with HIV. Um, we've got one case, we're going to study it, we're going to see if there's a possibility of having other cases in the future. What we can do right now is we can prevent almost all cases of babies being born with HIV if their moms enter into care and are tested during pregnancy and if they test positive if the mom is then treated throughout her pregnancy almost every baby will be born without HIV. As far as this baby we will be following along for years um, to make sure that we stay on top of what's happening with her. Um, the researchers around the world will be looking at research studies that might be designed around this particular knowledge to find out if we can replicate this kind of outcome in other babies later. I think that um, the one thing that I would like to emphasize at this point as a clinician is that prevention is far better than cure. Um, I have gotten calls from some of my patients already saying, well, can I have that cure? And uh, I need for people to understand that we don't have a magic pill yet. Um, and it will be years before we have a, a cure that we can apply consistently. At this point, um, for babies, it's much better to prevent infection by treating their moms during the pregnancy and making sure that we control the mom's virus during the pregnancy. In almost every case, we can promise to prevent infection. We cannot promise a cure at this point in time. I'm certainly overjoyed that this child is doing well. Um, I'm very hopeful that it's going to be generalizable knowledge 
eventually after the studies are done and that it will help other babies around the world. Um, but at this point in time, I'm ready to get back to another day at the office. <laughs> to learn more, go to umc.edu. I'm Jim Albritton reporting. Oh, yeah. <laughs>